Let's talk South Africa now, and South Africa are a side that are looking to try and win the World Cup for the very first time. They've made a number of semi-finals, and of course were involved in the, the great semi-final uh, four years ago when Grant Elliott was able to put it in the grandstands and the Black Caps made the finals. How do you rate their side going into this year? Obviously a guy like Rabada is a, is a terrific bowler and a great young bowler, and you've got Dale mm. Stain that can be in partnership with him, and also some very good batters at the top of the order, Wookie keeper batsman Quinton de Kock as well. And, and Faf Duplessis, how do you yep. rate their chances? Uh, okay, you, you've mentioned all the key players for them. Uh, th those individuals you've mentioned need to uh, to stand up. Amla as well, he's gone off the ball a, mm. a little bit hashing Amla the last the last few years. But when he was, when he was on song, he was gee was he was a phenomenal player. I think he may have been ranked number one in the world at one stage. Um, yeah, uh, again, just like any side, if those big players can step up, bang out some runs, um, they're in with a chance. And Rabada is one of the best fast bowlers in the world. Um, a very successful IPL uh, last month. The, the biggest issue, or not, the biggest thing I, I always found with the South African cricket team is that they're very uh, an emotional team. Very, they get wound up. If you if you play them in a three game series or, or a five game series, they they go really good. But if you play them in a, an environment where it's uh, um, a knockout phase, the pressure, it's a completely different ball game and the pressure really uh, amplifies and they've got that, that history over in their country where they're very passionate and then they get, oh, they get too wound up and uh, always felt if we could get it, when, when I was still playing, um, you get out and just, just put pressure on them. Mm. Just put periods of pressure on the side because um, well, since they're so emotional, they won't make clear, um, clear decisions or good decision making. And I, I suspect, um, even though I haven't played South Africa in a long time, but that may be the case as well. You get get them into this this playoff situation where the pressure really comes on. They they just tend to falter a little bit. And and, and do you reckon that's the reason why they haven't gone beyond a, a semi final? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Yep, without doubt. Uh, I've played against them a lot a lot in, in knockout games, and that's a completely different team when you're on the park when you play them in a three game series or, or a five game series where they play with a they're a lot more relaxed and just going about trying to win a series. But when you get to that game where it's make or break, they, they just, I just find South African teams just really get really emotional. Um, uh, but with cricket, you kind of need clear heads and clear decision making. Because you look back over the history of, of South African cricket, geez, they've had amazing cricketers. Mm. Uh, Alan Donald, Jack Cullis, uh, Graham Smith when he's been on song, Mark Boucher, Sean Pollock, you just rattle them off. Yeah, um, yeah. Just phenomenal cricketers. Uh, yeah, uh, these big ICC events, they just haven't been able to get the job done.